All right, we've got some rain out there for you this morning. Uh, it's particularly moderate in southeast Connecticut, as you can see from our early morning dual pole radar. A little bit of yellow popping up now there for the uh, shoreline in New London County. I can actually zoom on in there and show you some of the towns that are being affected with this heavier rain. You can see we've got Niantic, Crescent Beach, Giant's Neck, Black Point. Uh, moving on over into Neptune Park in New London. Good morning to you. You are going to be waking up to some pretty wet weather out there all across Connecticut with the exception of northeast. It's been taking its time making its way from southwest to northeast, but it will eventually win out. And you folks up here in the quiet corner where it's dry this morning, just mostly cloudy, you are expecting that rain to fill in. As you can see, it's knocking on your door and it wants to come in. So you can expect rain on and off throughout the day today in just about every town in Connecticut. Grab the umbrella carry it with you. Rather to be safe than sorry. I've got it in motion there for you. You can see it's moving from southwest to northeast. Cool and gray this morning. Rain is expected during the day today and then it gets warmer tomorrow. Tomorrow's today is going to be a cool day. We've also got this coastal flood advisory in effect for the immediate shoreline. This is for uh, Fairfield and New Haven counties. During the times of high tide, it's between about 10 and noon time today. So just keep in mind, if you live in a normally flood prone area of uh, the shoreline, you might encounter a little bit of high tides, higher than normal tides by about a foot to a foot and a half. And as the water gets pushed into the Long Island Sound with that northeasterly flow, it'll be a bit breezy today. That could add to a little bit of trouble as well. All right, the sky is starting to brighten up. You can see Torrington. Good morning to you. Doesn't look like we've got a whole lot of rain there, but you can see the roads are certainly wet. So please be careful there. Waterbury looking kind of dank with rain coming down. The roads are wet in Waterbury. And as we take a look at the normal daytime uh, overnight low, 55, we're actually below that. It's below that, 77. We're not going to get there today, that's for sure. Look at the numbers in the upper 40s and low 50s out there this morning. So sweatshirts are needed this morning. There is a little touch of autumn in the air with those winds sustained anywhere from 5 to 13 miles an hour out of the north northeast. Here comes that rain again. It's trying its best to push up into uh, northeast Connecticut and it will succeed. It's just taking its time. And as you can see, there's just a pretty good amount of moisture, high pressure suppressing this moisture, but uh, that high pressure is eventually relinquishing control and it will allow this rain on in. So it is expected to be a wet day. Now tonight, according to early warning future cast, there could be some showers, some lightning and some thunder. Uh, you'll, you're going to notice the yellows. This is around 4 p.m. And then you'll notice the yellows, the reds and the oranges. This is between uh, 8 and midnight tonight. So some of these storms could be a little bit strong, and the Storm Prediction Center has placed us in the possible risk area for receiving some severe weather tonight through very early tomorrow morning. We'll keep you posted. And keeping you posted on Helene, Isaac, and Florence. Florence is what we're going to concentrate on right now. One, two, three, four. And then it goes back to a three as it makes landfall in the Carolinas. This is... Unfortunately, a bad track for our neighbors to the south. This is a good track for us. It is uh, not expected to have its, uh, make its way into the state, which is good news for us. Uh, keep a good thought for those folks to the south. And you'll notice the other two storm systems, they are moving away from the continental United States. So highs today, climb into the mid-60s, periods of rain. It's going to be chilly. And then your seven-day forecast includes uh, a bit of a warm-up tomorrow. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're going to be back in the low 80s. Chance for shower and thunderstorm activity Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then we should start to dry things out for uh, Saturday and Sunday with temperatures right around the 80 degree mark. Inland Connecticut and upper 70s for the shoreline. Karen and Craig Allen married 36 years and it was Shaylin Berry. I wanted to make sure I got that right. 15 years old today. Um, we have got a, uh, the annual Lauren E. 